Welcome to our second annual high tea party fundraiser for the North Campus Food Pantry for our students. Um, I'd like to introduce uh, our wonderful president, Dr. Harrison, who is going to have uh, some words of um, appreciation for our shares and our host. Please uh, welcome Dr. Harrison. Thank you, Dr. Obeso. Good afternoon. It is truly, truly wonderful to be here for our second annual tea party. And that, as you know, is in support of our food pantry for students. Exactly. Wonderful cause, truly necessary. And as you know, food insecurity is a real issue in the nation. And it's also a real issue right here at home at Miami-Dade College and at our North Campus. And our campus family has come together in a truly significant way all year round to donate food and to be of service in our actual food pantry so that our students and their families can benefit. So thank you to everyone here everyone back in our departments, uh, staffing our areas for really supporting in a very uh, committed and generous way the food pantry for students here at North Campus. And as you know, no initiative could take place without leadership. Am I right? I know you're all socializing at your tables and enjoying the goodies, I can see that. But no initiative can take place and be successful without leadership. And I'd like to recognize the leadership of our student food pantry, our food pantry for students here at the North Campus. So help me to recognize with a warm round of applause our chairpersons. And I know that you know who they are. However, I'm going to call them by name. And I want them to stand so we can see them and properly recognize each of them. Starting with Ms. Jess Katambe, one of our co-chairs. Where's Jess? Right back there. Thank you so much. Barbara Pryor who just had a gorgeous baby girl and is not here with us. But thank you to Barbara. And last but not least, Professor Sarah Garman, one of our tri cheers. And if you know Professor Garman well, this initiative is right here in her heart and nowhere else. And she is and has been and continues to be tremendously passionate about this initiative, tremendously understanding that we truly need to come together to do something in support of our students and their food insecurities and that of their families. And um, I'm not going to tell you how many days and nights Professor Garman has been up baking but um, baking is truly one of her loves, and so she has spent quite a bit of that time baking for this event. And thank you, I wanna say a special thank you to you for your initiative and for truly making sure that you keep us all honest at the campus in terms of sustaining this initiative. It's much appreciated. I'd also like to recognize our college provost, Dr. Lenore Odicio, who's in the house this afternoon. Dr. Rodicio. And last year for the first um, inaugural tea party, uh, Dr. Rodicio had an important meeting and she could not make it. We were all very disappointed. However, she sent the most beautiful, beautifully decorated cake last year and she's actually topped it this year. 
and we're, uh, hopefully we're going to have a chance to taste it. I think, Harry, have you sliced it up? <laughs> Harry? Okay, thank you. It's too, pr uh, exactly. It was there on display and nobody wanted to slice it because it's so beautiful. But thank you, Dr. Rodicia, for being here and um, for endorsing our uh, tea party and the cause of students and um, our food pantry for students. It's great to have you with us. Moving right along, we have several donors. So we have the leadership, we have the committee. As a matter of fact, committee members, please stand because there are many of you who made this day possible. Stand so that we can recognize you, please. We have the leadership, we have the committee, and we have donors. And I'd like to ask our donors to come up to the stage and be recognized and to receive a very small token of our appreciation for what you've done and what you've sustained here in terms of our food pantry for students. Our first friend and donor, Ms. Marianne Cruz from Mercantile Commerce Bank. Marianne, would you please come up all together? Stay here with us for a moment. And actually, Mary Ann, you were at the launch of our food pantry for students. I remember that. So you've been with us from the start. From the start. Thank you. Very happy to be here. And let me just say that not only have we received monetary contributions from Mercantile Commerce Bank, but we've also received actual food because Marianne has established a food drive at the bank uh, during the summer months, and the employees have been very generous in giving um, cans and other uh, types of hygiene products and so forth, and so we want to thank you for that as well. I'd also like to call up another friend and donor, Ms. Marisol Mejia from Total Bank. Marisol? And actually, a member of our own family here at Miami-Dade College, um, our United Faculty of Miami-Dade College has also been tremendously supportive in terms of funds, in terms of collaboration, and again, we want to recognize our United Faculty of Miami-Dade College today, and the President, uh, Professor Elizabeth Ramsey, is here. Would you please come up? I think we're going to take a group picture. Is that right? Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's have another round of applause, please. In the meantime, I'd also like to thank uh, some of our corporate sponsors who are here today. And uh, Starbucks, Ms. Alyssa Janos, would you come up, Alyssa, from Starbucks? How many of you like Starbucks? How many of you love Starbucks? Alyssa, if you would come on up 
please. Is she in the room? She just stepped out. Okay, we'll get to her later on. Sam's uh, Joy Dawkins is not here, but I know the Sam's team is here. Thank you very much. Let's give them a round of applause. And then I'd also like to pay a very special recognition to Professor Stephanie Packer. Professor Packer, where are you? Would you please come up? <laughs> Professor Packer has been, again, uniquely supportive of our pantry for students here at North Campus. And we actually have a plaque that we are going to place in the pantry in loving memory of Arthur L. Packer. And I'd like to, we're not going to present it to her because it's going to be hanging in the pantry, but I'd like to at least take a photo of it with her and to say many, many, many thanks. We appreciate you. Thank you. So are you enjoying your uh, goodies, your treats? Yes? Wonderful. We have a wonderful program for you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting the cause of our, our food pantry here for students at the North Campus. Thank you, Dr. Harrison. Thank you to all our sponsors. Thank you to our tri shares once more for a great work and enjoy. Uh, let's continue with the event. And now is the time that you are all waiting for, which are our door prices, our goodies, our table prices. So pay attention and continue enjoying of the event as we go through. But the first thing that we have to announce is the silent auction. Do you know that we have the silent auction clipboards on the front at the entry? And this is basically prime real estate parking lots. <laughs> what we all need is an extra hour or so of sleep in the mornings. I know some people come from West Palm Beach and they commute three hours a day. I commute up to an hour and a half from West Kendall, and I know every second is of the essence. So if you want that prime parking lot right in front of your building, this is your chance. And so the bid starts at $75. If you make the math, and somebody did it for me because I'm really bad at math, it's about $6 per month. I mean, can you imagine just, just a one or two cups of coffee? will pay for that peace of mind, that extra minute you need to be on time for your class. So you're going to have a designated parking lot. If you want to put your name, we'll emboss it in gold and diamond dust. But if you're a very shy and modest person, we'll just have a spot for you to make sure that it's there for you. I don't know if we're going to have towing with it, just in case somebody parks there. But, oh yes, the president says yes. So hey, listen, you can't miss this opportunity. So the open bid starts at $75, and you can bid on basically seven locations. We have two spaces on building six, and those are really hard to come, believe me, because I'm struggling every morning to get there. Two spaces in building two, right in front of building two, prime real estate, okay? One space, one space on the north side of building 3,000, and two spaces in a faculty lot in front of building seven. If you are on here, you know those are highly coveted places, and you can put your silent beats starting now. We have uh, clipboards at the exit and the doors, but we also, you can also put your silent bead up to April 17th. Up to April 17th, you can put your silent bead for that peace of mind. And uh, you can go to room 1315, 1315 to put your silent bead. Uh, shortly after April 17th, we'll announce the winner and uh, who can sleep a little bit uh, later in the morning. So please don't uh, make, uh, make sure don't to miss this opportunity. All right? So now for the prices. I know you're all waiting for that now that you're all on a sugar high. 
All right, let's continue with this high. So we have here the door prices, the raffle. Are we ready for the raffle? Yes, yes. Okay, so we have so, uh, Costco gift cards. We have two Costco gift cards. So, um, Okay, so Professor Garman in, his, uh, in her eternal wisdom asked me to remind you, this is the last call to put your tickets in. Anybody holding that winner ticket in your pocket, make sure to run. Run right there, put your ticket. Here, that's the winning ticket, okay? We have one pay, uh, tape to the inside of that. Uh, no, no, just kidding. So make sure to put your tickets in, run, run. Okay, that's four people, four tickets. It's gonna be tough. Last call for your tickets on the raffle. All right, love that hairdress. <laughs> okay, everybody, everybody has their tickets. Are we ready to go? Ready to go? Not yet, come on, come on. Run, run, run. Run. You got your tickets up at your pockets? Yes? Okay, this is it, the last one. Okay, let's do it. Okay, can you roll the ticket thing? <laughs> the raffle box. Okay, they are dropping out. So who's gonna do the honors in calling the first winner for the door prize? Can you pick one, please? Can you pick one? Okay, pay attention, pay attention. First. Winner of our door prize is It's my ticket. Nah, <laughs> just kidding. Wishful thinking. Okay, four, six, one, seven, four, ah, uh, three. You want to know the last number? <laughs> Eight, okay, 46, 17, 43, eight. Are you here? Yes, all right, come on on, come on down. Are you here? Come on in, all right. From Costco, excellent. Perfect, perfect, they match. Second door price, second door price, okay? Shake it, shake it, shake it. All right, all right. Pick one more ticket. One more ticket. Not the one that's taped to the inside. <laughs> here it is. Okay, drum roll. Okay, here we go. Four, six, one, seven, four. So, ah, see, all those people are now awake. Nine, seven. Are you here? 46, 17, 497. Come on down. Where are you? Run for it. Run for it. Otherwise, I'm keeping it. <laughs> Congratulations. He got it. Okay, so those are our two door prices. And now we're gonna start the contest. Everybody ready? Yes, yes, okay. Come on, come on. Cheer up, you have plenty of sugar in your system. Okay, we got it. We're gonna have the best hat, the best, the price for the best hat. And that's uh, $50. That's good, huh? All right. Okay, 50 bucks, best hat. So those people who like to uh, um, participate, please, please come forth so we can all vote by applause. Those people for the best hats, best hats. Come on, come on, don't be shy. Come on, beautiful, seafoam blue with shells. I think you gotta be a perfect, a perfect feature for our table there. Beautiful, come on, oh my God, gorgeous. Best hat, come on down, best hat, come on down. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so we're gonna have a first prize and second prize. So everybody takes something home, okay? 
All right, so we are gonna do this by applause. All right, so best hat, best hat. So by applause, okay, are we it? All right, let's do it, let's do it. Starting from right to left. Remember, fascinators, well that, whatever that means, is a separate category. <laughs> fascinator is a separate, yeah, you got a hat. Is a, oh, that's a fascinator? Okay, I, I got culture today. Okay, good. So fascinator is an extra category. Are there any fascinators in here? I don't think so. Okay. Sarah, are we okay? Are we okay? No fascinators in here? Okay. Oh, wait, we got the best hat for you, and we got a prize for you. All right, congratulations. Thanks for being such a gentleman and a good sport. Okay, uh, so we have now the most interesting hat, most interesting hat. So do we have any interesting hats in here? I'll keep the prize for sure. No? We could do, Sarah, where are you? I need your help. Most interesting hats. Hmm, maybe you can move to the next one and figure out what we do with this one, Sarah, okay? So we are gonna do the best fascinator. I learned what the fascinator is today. Best fascinator, charming, come on board, come on, come on, beautiful. This, she's ready for Mardi Gras, she's ready for Mardi Gras, come on. All right, best fascinators, ladies. Come on, beautiful, beautiful. Look at that, with gum drops and bubble gum. Hopefully nuance. All right. Oh my God, where did you all came from? <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow, this is gonna be tough. All right, more fascinators than I even thought. Okay, so we have here, uh, what, Sleeping Beauty and uh, the crew? The Seven Dwarfs? Okay, so do we do that as a group or what? I guess so. Okay, so we have the Seven Dwarfs here. Applause for the Seven Dwarfs. and stuff. Okay, how about the red fascinator? Talking hot, red, yes. So, in, individually here? 
There's more people. I'm sorry. I don't want to do this one. This is very complicated. It's complicated as in the movie. You walked out of the competition. They eliminated you. As they say, the, the, the people who work for the thing, you can participate in all the raffles or anything like that. It's not a bummer, but I guess in an unwritten law, okay, or rule. So thank you so much. Okay, so you got to help me here. Did I? You, okay. Our dean here. Dr. Belmont, our Paris uh, male fascinator. He's a trend maker. Okay, so they are competing as a couple, and the yes, that's right, the bubble gum. Okay, so we have these two ladies and the male fascinator couple. So can everybody else kind of like exit graciously? Exit graciously. Okay. Huh? Okay, so Professor Garma says that we're going to have two first prizes since we didn't have anybody for the other category. Okay? So we are going to give you this first prize too, and we're going to give you a prize too. Nobody goes home anti hunted, okay? There's a check inside. Just kidding. <laughs> All right, so uh, what else do we have? The best fascinator, bow tie, bow tie, guys. Anybody here? Bow tie, bow tie. Come on, come on, uh, Professor Williams, Mr. Fashion himself. Come on, don't be shy, don't be shy, don't be shy. Look at this. Is that the, w now? You gotta tell me what what are you dressed like? Joe White. Oh, Joe White is the husband of Snow. No, no Snow White. <laughs> oh, Joe White and the seventh draft. The dwarf fets. <laughs> this is a new take on that game, on that uh, <laughs> story. Okay, so let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. All right. Look at that. I love it. Look at that. All right, guys. So should we start again from right to left? The best bow tie, best bow tie ensemble. Professor Fashion himself, come on. How about this elegant gentleman? He's dripping in gold. Love it. Okay. 
This is going to be tough. <laughs> All right. So, wow. Okay. So let me see. I think I, let me start kind of like running down. You stay and you stay. Okay. Okay, and I must remind, remind you that the academic position doesn't bear you. Okay, so non bias, non bias, okay? That's tough, man. That's really tough. It's tough that tougher than grading finals, I guess. All right. Okay. All right. So now we have the best. Uh, let me see. We have the tables now. Yes. Are you ready for that? For the tables. Okay. For the tables, we're gonna have first and second prizes. Okay. So uh, Professor Garman says that you can uh, go in and have some extra calories if you like before the ants get to them. So you are happy and um, please go and have some, something else if you, uh, if you must. So we're going to have uh, basically um, a big plaque for the first prize winners. So I'm going to show you that plaque because it's going to be in a very special place at our president's office, okay? So, for those who win the first prize as the uh, best, the most creative table, and the first prize for the most beautiful table, your name are going to be engraved here forever and ever. <laughs> Until the waters come in into South Florida and wipe us out. No, 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 just no, 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 no. Okay, all right, forget about that. We are having a happy moment here. <laughs> I'm a biologist, I can't help it. So, <laughs> plug in, earth ethics, and all those goodies. All right, so your names are going to be here. If you win the first prize, the team, the team, the table team that put the tables together is going to have a pizza party, right? Gourmet pizza for your team. It's not for the whole department, mind you. You can invite them, but whatever it is, but it's going to be pizzas for that, for that group of people who work together hard work to put these tables together. And your name will, your name will go here, and this is going to go into our president's office. So it's a highly coveted um, icon here that we have in our hands. <laughs> All right, so we start with this, Sarah. OK, so we're going to have first and second prizes, second and first place. First and second place, I'm sorry. <laughs> and third place, too, that's right. OK, so the most beautiful, most beautiful table. Yes. Okay, so for the most beautiful table, first place, are you ready? Is what other but Madame Butterfly herself? All right, all that makeup had to work something. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh my God. Nobody told you we're in South Florida. I think you need to get out in the sun more often, you know? <laughs> You've been working too hard at the office. We gotta let you go and have some sun. All right? First place. All right, congratulations. Beautiful. Should they stay here? No? Okay. So, uh, the second place for the most beautiful table goes to the Peacock Blue. Peacock Blue, come on in. A round of applause for our pick up blue table. Oh, okay, so I have an edit in here last minute. Go third, second on place to build tension and expectation. That works good. Very good. That's how my students tell me, can you start calling from the last to the first instead of the first to the last? <laughs> All right, not when I order them by grade. <laughs> All right, so let's do that. And then we're gonna change it in a moment. So the third place, the, fir the third place for the most beautiful is spring, springtime? Spring tea time, spring tea time, spring tea time. I couldn't even read my own handwriting. That body said, spring tea time. Where are you, spring tea time? All right. That table is winning big today. Winning big today, spring tea time. Okay, thank you so much. So now we're gonna do the most creative table, the most creative table. And as per Dr. Bellman's request and recommendation, we're gonna start from the third to the first. Okay, so the first, I'm sorry, the third prize for the most creative tablescape is Majestic Arabian Nights. Majestic Arabian Nights. Those are the folks who are sitting in the, and the floor, you gotta give him a prize for what? <laughs> My knees couldn't handle that. Come on guys, beautiful, all right. He has the right attitude. He's walking in the Hall of Fame here. All right, congratulations. Congratulations, congratulations. All right. Do they got, wait. The check is on the back, gotta check it, okay? <laughs> Check is on the back. Okay, second prize, second prize. Are you guys ready? There you go. I told you it was a check. <laughs> All right, okay, the second place, second place. Are you guys ready? Under the sea, under the sea. Do we have a little mermaid? Under the sea, yeah, it's you guys. Yes, it's you guys. It's you guys, come on. Yes, she did a great, great, great job. Great job. She made it happen in the last minute. Buying things at Ross and Marshalls at every single place. Don't use it, we gotta return it, okay? <laughs> don't tell them, please, don't tell them. You took points off for the tickets, they're there for a reason, okay? All right, now first place, first place for the most creative, okay? Okay. Do you got any ants? You got any ants around here? I think it's because we have here the first prize, which is the Sweet Sensation. Sweet Sensation. Come on down, guys. You made it. It's a low calorie tablescape. Come on. No carbs. Come on down. You did it. You did it. Come on down. First prize, most creative. Most creative. You got it. The king and the queen of the gumdrops. All right. I've told that there's a special prize if you can calculate the number of gumdrops in that stable skip. Right, guys? That's a special prize. All right, come on in, come on in. Come on in. I love that combination. You got to give them credit. All right, congratulations. Congratulations. She says there's candy for everybody at the end. Like if we didn't have enough calories here today. Okay, guys, thank you so much. 
The next part of that is that you can eat your tablescape at the end. Everything recyclable. OK, I think we're done with the tables, right? And now we are going to go announce the best cake. Announce the best cake. The wonderful, wonderful bakers here at the college. Thank God for that. And so they provided some of their creations. And the winners for the best, the second place, that's right, second place, second place. Second place is, is the right re retiree, Evie Irving. Evie Irving, Evie Irving, come on down. Evie Irving, come on down. Yes, it's you. Yeah, put that cake down. <laughs> Miss Irving, she had a piece of a cake. Come on down. Big round of applause. There you go. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's wonderful. Thank you so much. OK. And now stay here for a photo opportunity. And then now we have the first prize. First prize for the best cake award. Sweet Sensations, Peggy Martin. Sweet Sensations, that table is cleaning out the house, all the prizes. There you go. Miss Peggy Martin, come on down. Come on down, Peggy. Come on down for your prize. Always I'll keep it. <laughs> okay, in representation of Miss Peggy, where's Miss Peggy? Miss Peggy, oh, okay, so we got uh, a representative here, the King of Sweets, okay. Congratulations. I was gonna keep this 50 bucks for me, but I guess they told me to give it to you. Okay, all right, congratulations. All right, guys, so we are almost there, ready to go to classroom, right? Not really, but we gotta do it. Okay, so one last thing, one last thing. I have, we have to thank all of you, all the participants, all our sponsors, and our people who work very hard, the, the judges. So, Sarah, if you could actually help me out in this. So, Sarah. So, can Miss Mary Ann Cruz come on down? Mary Ann Cruz, Mary Ann Cruz. Thank you so much for your time. We appreciate you being here with us today. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And stay here for a picture for posterity. The other person, Marisol Mejia, Marisol Mejia. Miss Mejia, can, can you come down, please? Last but not least, Asanya Davidson. Miss Davidson, please come on down. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And we are almost, almost, almost ready to adjourn, but give me one minute, and this is totally on plan, okay? Just one minute. Totally on plan. <laughs> so I think that there were three people that work really, really, really hard in making all this come together. So we're all having a good time. And the best part of it that we being here have allowed us to uh, raise funds for a very good cause. And I think they can go unrecognized even though we have recognized them. So I stole this from the photo booth. Don't tell those guys. <laughs> So we have this little Oscar for our tri shares. So a big one final round of applause for Miss Jess Katamba. Jess, come over. Jess.
Where are you hiding? Come on over. It's gold plated. This will actually fund your summer vacation. Come on, Jess. We have here Sarah Garman. Come on, Sarah. Come on, Sarah. <laughs> for you and Barbara Pryor. Barbara, come on down. Get your Oscar. <laughs> She's not here. Okay, so I'm glad to accept this on, <laughs> on Barbara, her family. She thanks her dad, her mother, and God, and everybody else. So thank you so much, guys, for being here. Thank you. See you next year. Start baking your cakes and thinking what else can you do to top this beautiful occasion. Thank you so much. Have a great afternoon. Thank you.